Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I am going to show you how to convert BIOS mode EFI to legacy of an installed Windows without losing data. Earlier we had made another video which was about converting legacy to EFI and today's video is about converting EFI to legacy. But it's little easier method. Using a third party hard drive repair software. Well, let's get started. Alright, let me show you BIOS mode of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Yeah, as you can see, BIOS mode shows EFI of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Now let me show you partition style of my laptop's internal disk. Yeah, as you can see, partition style shows GUID partition table, I mean GPT. Alright, I will show you by changing the BIOS mode of this installed Windows 10 from UFI to legacy without any kind of losing data. As you can see, here's have installed many applications. So this PC is not for experiment and you can be assured that there is no possibility of losing data. Alright, you need to download EZS Partition Master Pro Edition by googling. I have already downloaded and installed, so I am not downloading it anymore. Alright, now just follow me. At first go to control panel. Next go to system. Next, click on Advanced System Setting option. Next, go to Startup and Recovery Settings. Next, go to System Failure and uncheck the Automatically Restart box. Next, click on OK and OK. Now, close the panel. Alright, next, open the EZS Partition Master Pro Edition. Now select disk 0 and right click on it. Then click on convert GPT to MBR. Alright, here shows the warning about conversion. By pausing the video, you can clearly read about the warning. Next, I'm just click on OK. Alright, now just click on apply to save changes. Next click on yes and yes. Now your PC will reboot as you can see. Patient for a while do not do anything until the process is complete. Alright, as you can see here shows that the batch operations are processed successfully. Next hit enter and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 or F2 plus Dell. Alright, next go to boot menu. Then select boot mode and then hit enter. Next select legacy and then hit enter. Again hit enter and hit enter. Next go to exit menu. Then select exit saving changes option and then hit enter.
All right, as you can see, here shows that the batch operations are processed successfully. Now your PC will reboot, as you can see. Patient for a while, do not do anything. Until the process is complete, Windows will start automatically. All right, now let's see what happened. Yeah done, as you can see. Well now let me show you BIOS mode of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Yeah as you can see, BIOS mode shows legacy of my laptop's current running Windows 10. Alright, now let me show you disk type from disk management. Yeah, as you can see, partition style shows master boot record, I mean MBR. And all the applications that were installed in the OS, they are in the same place without any data loss. And the video that I was created, everything is fine and also working properly as you can see. We hope you will like, of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions then please let us know. Please like, comment, share, we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.